So here we have a trig equation, 5 sine x minus 4 equals 2 cos 2x, which we're asked to solve. Notice it's in radians between 0 and 2 pi. It might also be important that we're allowed 0, but we're not allowed 2 pi. So let's have a look at how we might solve this equation. First thing to notice is the right hand side has a cos 2x and the double angle formula that you know cos 2x we've got a wealth of choices here we could either have 2 cos squared x minus 1 we could have cos squared x minus sine squared x or we could have 1 minus 2 sine squared x three choices in all so which should we use well, we look at the scenery roundabout and notice that there's sine x here. This is the only one that involves a sine x. These other two would make the scenery roundabout more complex. If we use this, it would involve having a sine x and a cos x, and this one mixes the two. So 1 minus 2 sine squared x, that's the one that fits in with the scenery that we've got round about us. So let's replace the cos 2x on the right hand side by 1 minus 2 sine squared x. So we have sine x's. Let's get rid of the right hand side. Sine x is here with a squared for one of the sine x's. We're thinking this might well be a quadratic equation in sine x. So let's add 4 sine squared x to both sides. We'll leave this 5 sine x on the, the left hand side. And then let's take 2 from both sides. So negative 4 will now become negative 6 and that 2 will disappear. So all terms are now on the left hand side. And if you like, let's compare it with normal equation like this, normal quadratic equation would be 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0 and would attempt to factorise that. We would try 2x, 2x and it's a complicated one because it could be 2 times 3, 3 times 2 would make no difference if these are the same or 6 times 1. Um, if we try 2 and 3, we get a 4x for the inside 2 and a 6x for the outside 2. That doesn't work there. So these two aren't going to work. A 6 and a 1, 12x, 2x, that's not going to work either. So it looks like uh, 2x and 2x wouldn't work. So there is another choice, 4x times x. And then we'd try the 2 and the 3 and the 3 and the 2 and the 1 and the 6, 6 and the 1 and the 1 and the 6. All these possibilities. And remember, we're checking the outside 2 and the inside 2, attempting to get this 5x. 2x, 12x, that's no good. 3x, 8x, we've done it. 3 and a 2, 8x for the outside 2, 3x for the inside 2. It would have to be a plus 8x minus the 3x. And we'd check that negative 3 times the 2 does give us this negative 6. So we're factorised 4x squared plus 5x minus 6. So there's no difference really apart from the fact that we don't have an x. x has been replaced by sine x. So we would get 4 sine x minus 3 sine x plus 2. And we can check the first give us 4 sine x times sine x. That's OK. The outside 2, 4 sine x times 2 is 8 sine x. Inside 2 is minus 3 sine x. So 8 minus 3 is 5 of them. And the last 2, negative 3 times 2, does give us negative 6. So, so far so good. So we have a couple of factors multiplied together give us 0. Something times something 0. One of these factors must be 0. So either 4 sine x minus 3 is 0 or sine x plus 2 is 0. Now if that was the case, we'd have 4 sine x being 3 
in which case sin x would be 3 quarters. If this was the case, we'd have sin x being negative 2. Now, alarm bells would be ringing about this um, second alternative, because if you remember what the sine graph looks like, values of the sine range from 0 up to 1 and down to negative 1. They never, ever reach negative 2. So if you're hunting for an angle whose sine is negative 2, you're on a losing streak. You'll never find one. Uh, there is no solution for this one. Sine x values always lie between negative 1 and 1. So that's the reason there's no solution from that. So we're left with sine x equals 3 quarters. And remember... your quadrant diagram, if that's how you remember these things, that the sine is positive, they're all sine cos tan, they're all positive in the first quadrant, and only the sine is positive in the second quadrant. You can see that in the sine graph diagram. There's 0 to 90, 90 to 180. Sine values are positive, that's above the x-axis, only in the first and second quadrants. They then go negative in the third and fourth. So here we have x is in first or second quads. So let's hunt down the first quadrant angle. And we're looking for an angle whose sine is 3 quarters. So let's get hold of the calculator. Now you need to be very careful. We're in radians here. And at present my calculator is showing deg. We need to have it showing rad or r on your calculator. You know your calculator, but make sure that it's in the radian mode for measuring angles, not the degree mode. So first quadrant angle is, sine of an angle is 3 quarters. What angle has a sine at 3 quarters? So it's sine to the minus 1 or second function sine. In this calculator, it's a sine. So what angle has a sine that is 3 quarters? 3 divided by 4. So that's the question I'm asking it. The answer I get in radians is 0 0.848. So first quadrant angle is 0 0.848, etc. So x, therefore, we are allowed that first quadrant angle. It's one of the possibilities. Or, remember, second quadrant angle. Now, second quadrant angle we go all the way around to 180 and take away first quadrant angle. So that's all the way around in radians to pi radians and take away the first quadrant angle. So that would be pi minus 0 0.848 and so on. So on our calculator, that's pi minus that answer that I already had. So there I have 2.293 and so it goes on. So we're asked to solve that equation. Solutions are well, let's round them to two decimal places. So I'll have 0 0.85 and 2.29 radians. And that's to two decimal places. Doesn't say what accuracy they're wanting, so any correct rounding, let's say to one decimal place or to three significant figures or whatever, would be uh, adequate. But 
radian measure for both solutions. <laughs>